It's time for the Family Feud Battle of the Television Hosts. Introducing the Heavenly Hosts, Peter Marshall, Leslie Uggum, Burt Park, Tom Kennedy, and Jim Lang. And now, the magnificent MC, Betty White, Jim Perry, Bill Cullen, Nipsey Russell, and Bob Eubank. Let's start the Family Feud Battle of the Television Hosts. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you. How are you, Big Bob? Thank you. Thank you. Do you know what a thrill this is for me? Because these people <laughs> know what every host dreads. <laughs> <laughs> and the magic is, right now, I'm about to go into heaven for a game show. <laughs> I am. Now, children, if you're watching at home, don't try this. <laughs> Because danger could be involved. <laughs> Give him a big hand. They're my buddies right here. They're having the work. How are you? How are you? Good to see you, my friend. I'm delighted you're all here. First, tell me the charities you're playing for. Well, a, a charity that I'm quite involved with it, the Children's Village and City of Hope. Oh, yeah, that's a yes. good one. City of Hope, Children's Village. Got to get a lot of money for it. Hope so. All right. Let me meet everybody, please. I know them all, but I want you to introduce them to America. Well, first of all, a young lady who's won... Uh, uh, oh. In fact, she beat me out for the uh, Emmy this year. She beats her, right? Yes. And she's won a Tony, and she has co-starred on many things, but she is my co-star on Fantasy. Uh, this is Leslie Uggams, who I love very much. Hello. Thank you, And, of course, we have a gentleman who... Uh, I have admired for Sadogo many years, and he's done, let me see, Break the Bank, Double or Nothing, and for 25 years, Stop the Music, uh, he did that. Uh, right. For 25 years, the host of uh, This forget America. It. I forget what it was. Uh, he's uh, <laughs> a much older man, uh, Bert Park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who I love, he's a cool. Oh, good man. He's and then one of, one of America's best game show hosts, yeah. uh, of 11, of, of the, one of America's 11th. Actually, he came in 17th, and that's how I did it. <laughs> This is Tom Kennedy, who has been a buddy of mine for many years. Hello, Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure, sir. And of course, on the end, uh, the fellow who was on the dating game, how many years, Jim? Well, well, overall, about 17 years. There you go, mm. Mr. Jim Lang. Yeah. He's the boy, Mr. Jim. By the way, yes, sir. Uh, there was a fellow on the... You got dates twice for a fellow on... What was his name? Uh, Dawson. Me. Richard, Richard Dawson. Dawson. That's right, yeah. on the dating game. Uh, I went to Peru with one girl that... Uh, well, that's a different story. <laughs> I better move along. There's legal action still oh, pending. We'll do it the book. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Richard. It's man. a pleasure. Oh, I love lovely. you and I thank you. Thank you. you. You're very special. Thank you. I said we did. Yeah, God, God love you. God love you. God love you. We did a love boat special in prime time. Burt was there. You we all wore your buttons, didn't we? We sure did, baby. God bless so you. So glad to see you again. Here's Hello, my Richard. How are you? Great. How are you? Are you still? Oh, a little bit. More tennis now. Let's really? Go. Yeah. How you doing? I want to talk about Peru. Uh, don't talk about Peru. You get me into trouble. Here. I know. Help me welcome the magnificent oh, MJ. The only one up. Thank How are you. you, my darling? I'm just fine, and thank you for inviting us today. We're going to have a good time. Who are you going to play for? What charity? We're going to play for two of them, Special right. Olympics and the United College ne United <laughs> Negro College Fund. Uh -huh. Very good. The, uh, the elocution lessons by James Watson, obviously <laughs> paying off very well. That's right. I mean, some of us just can't drink. <laughs> <laughs> may I meet everyone, please? You certainly may. <laughs> My right is NBC's answer to tallness in an MC. Sale of the century, Jim Perry. Mr. Jim Perry, welcome, Jim. Higher, higher. <laughs> <laughs> and my great and dear friend, the television MC who has been the most frequently hired and fired. <laughs> I'm coming out. Yeah. Welcome, Jim. 
Now, the reason, one of the reasons we're playing for the United Negro College Fund is we didn't want to get cut because now, Tilly, <laughs> Nipsey, bless his heart, is not only the, the head of the juvenile jury, host of juvenile right, jury, right. but he's the poet laureate of television. That is I true. I am indeed. Do you have something for us? Playing Family Feud today are some talented women and men lost their jobs giving money away, so now they're trying to win. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. and, and after 14 years of doing the newlywed game, it right. just stands to reason that now Bob Eubanks would do Dream House. Giving away Dream House. Giving away Dream House. Yeah. Nice big hand, yeah. Mr. Bob Eubanks. Thank you. This is a very important part of Mama's family mm -hmm. and my family, too, and I thank you. Thank you, darling. Higher, higher. Higher, Richard. How are you doing? Good, sir. Good, good, good. My buddy here. Are you doing well? Trying, trying, yes. Yeah. Well, you like us all, you're a survivor. Uncle Bill? Hello, Richard. Haven't seen you for a little while, Been but... Uh, yeah. All is well? I'm out for... I'm out to kill. Really? Yeah, anyone. <laughs> Nipsey. <laughs> <Jim. laughs> anyone. We'll have a good time. Okay. Uh, what would we do? Match game? Masquerade party? Yeah, I, I would kiss you, but there's a little talk going around about me now. <laughs> <laughs> Let him talk. <laughs> Let him talk. <laughs> <laughs> Could you get us on Dream House? Hello, Richard. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you for Come on, we're going to play the feud. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. So good, Peter. We should go start this. Uh, my best to uh, Tessie. Oh, and my, my mother and my best to Jeannie, your my mother. mother. Our mothers are very close, yeah, really so they're yeah, rooting for the two. <laughs> well, the if your mothers are very close, why don't they just talk to each other when we're off the air? <laughs> <laughs> 100 people surveyed. Top seven answers on the board. You've got to try and get the most popular answer, and here is the question. Name a childhood fear that is carried into adulthood. Peter. Afraid of the dark. Okay. Afraid of the dark? That's it. Yes, sir. What a way to begin. Play the, the, the play a ball, sir. We play. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. I think we're going to play, Richard. Right. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Best to test. I think you want to play. <laughs> yeah. What a way your captain no. started here. Oh, oh, Childhood fear is carried away into adulthood. Uh, afraid of falling. Fear, fear of fall. falling. Fear of falling? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, what is it, Uncle Bert? I think what it is is really a fear of the unknown, fear of ghosts, things like oh, that. Oh, yeah. 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 I really Ghost! Casper! <laughs> oh, no! Go like this now, Tom. We have two strikes on Well, us. I remember this very well. What is it? Because I'm probably one of the youngest on the panel today. Well, I know you <laughs> are. Excuse <laughs> me. Uh, but when I was a young one, I was always afraid of being alone or left behind. All right. Okay. Good. All righty. If it's there, okay. If not, third strike. Fear of being alone. Well, Not that. Forty-five dollars. Take a look, though. We got six answers unrevealed. Dennis. 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 Pardon? Dennis. Dennis. Well, I thought you said Dennis. Dennis. Dentist. Dentist. The dentist. <laughs> dentist. Fear of dentist. Dentist. If that's say, you get the forty-five dollars, and if not, Peter and his mom will get it. Mm. Dentist. <laughs> Why? 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 Now, America, watch this now. We've got ten <laughs> yeah. of the greatest. They gave me one reveal. <laughs> this is not the way it's supposed <laughs> to go, but number two, please. Fear yeah, of heights. Yeah. Oh, Will, Will Chamberlain. Excellent. Three. Thunderstorm. I love thunderstorm. Four. <laughs> Fear of dying. Oh, Eleven of us are going through that right at this moment. Yes, yes. Five. Fear of snakes. That's yeah, called agent fear and sex. Claustrophobia. Fear of Santa Claus. And seven. The fear of dogs or blind dating. Mm -hmm. Forty-five to nothing. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Jim. Wish each other luck. Very good. All right. One hundred people surveyed. Top seven answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something you do that makes you feel really good. Take a bath. Take a bath? Why not? Two answers will do this. Play sports. 
What? Play sports. Play sports. It could be there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Try that. Play a pass. Play a pass. Play a pass. I think they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Something you're doing makes you feel really good. Baby, look. Eat a good meal. There you go. <laughs> Have a nice meal. <laughs> oh, no. I hope this is a different survey than the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Say it again, would you please, Richard? Oh, yeah, name something you do that makes you feel really good. All right, to give someone something that makes yeah, you feel good. All right. Yeah. To give a gift. Yes. We had the wrong studio. We had the fear of being alone for yes. just a second. Again? Fear of dying. Uh, let's see. No, that was uh, yesterday. Oh, yeah, that was the last one. Come along now. Uh, Taking a nap, relaxing, just uh, nap. resting, Little resting nap. with your time. Last hey, 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 hey. Hey. Well, I've got two, but I better go with the one I think is the best. Something really bad. I like to work out and it uh, feels good. I work, run, work, work sports. Yeah, don't you give know. me lots of answers. Oh, yeah. Work out. Work out. Only yeah. yeah. you, may, right. well, you may say something. Well, well, that's that's true. True. I don't yeah. want you to do it. Well, ma making love always makes me feel oh, real good. Yeah. You're kidding. Oh. Making love? Well? <laughs> you got oh, it. Oh, you. Okay. okay. How about a nice massage? Okay. Ooh. How about it? All right. Massage? massage? Oh, no. God, what is this? Mm. Something you do that I'm makes so you feel rehearsal. really good. Two strikes. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> You feel it. Yeah, they're all right. If not third strike, drink. No. Sixty-seven dollars. Betty, 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 Betty. See how quick she is to recognize oh, yes, her name. Yes, yes. Here, Betty. You're the Here, only Betty, Betty here now. That's right. Oh, win money. Win money. Win money. Remember yeah. him? <laughs> is there you get sixty-seven dollars? If not, big leap. The heavenly host. Win money. Buy something. Oh, something. Why did I miss work. shopping? No, no, wait. wait. Uh, All right. Boy, now you know. see, kids at home, why I said don't try it. It is dangerous. We'll be back right after that. Are we going too fast? Tuesday on The Chase. I'm a Vegas junkie. Let's see how much of a gambler you really are. We're going for it. Stop that silly gesture. The Magna Carta was written in what language? Oh, pass. Latin, Hamlet. Correct. Ah! The house always wins. The Chase, all new Tuesday, 8, 7 central, only on the Game Show Network. 112 for the heavenly host, the magnificent MC mm, Nish. Let's go. I'm sorry this happened to you. I am too. I've admired seeing you on the radio all the time. <laughs> and enjoyed your work. Very sorry. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board is the question. Besides wieners, name something every hot dog vendor has. <laughs> Uncle Bill. Hamburgers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I would say he has chili. Chili. Oh, chili. Nipsey. Quiet, quiet. Nipsey. Every hot dog vendor has mustard. Oh. Mustard? Yeah. 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 He's lost none of his risque humor. <laughs> Bug! You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sweet Betty. Ketchup. Ketchup, yeah, a little ketchup for Betty, please. You got it. Over yeah. here. Mustard and onions. Onions, all right, onions. <laughs> Not there. First strike. Back to uh, Hamburger Hill. Uh, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. sauerkraut is right. yeah. Bill would like some sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. No. Oh. Oh. But you're warmer. Oh, okay. Here's the here's the hot dog vendor man right here. Uh, a hot dog vendor would have relish. Yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. Course he would. Little relish. Is it there? You oh. got it. Yeah. One more. Polish it up, Bob. Mm. Size wiener. Something every hot dog vendor has. 
all, uh, I, I guess something to drink, huh? A uh, Coke? Right, sure, right. Right. That's a little uh, cold drink there gets you all the money. Cold drink? You got it. 112, 85, let's go. Come on. Dollar values are doubled. One hand, Nipsey, please. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board here is the question. Name someone who performed a miracle. Yes, sir. Jesus. Jesus. Play a pass. Play a pass. Come on, gang. Let's oh, play. All right, miracle workers, what do you say? We can't play. We can't Wanna give play? you that. You want to play? I need an answer. We'll we play. are going to play, play. Ready? Thank you, sir. We'll Thank you. Good. We'll play. We'll start with Madeline Murray O'Hare down here, who was saying pan. Uh, a Someone miracle. who performed a miracle. St. Francis of Assisi. Okay. Yeah. St. Yes. Francis? Yeah. No. Oh. Sorry, mainly, right. mainly car tricks, yeah, if you read that. <laughs> yes, I have a winner here. Who is it? Uh, her name was Bernadette in Bernadette. Lourdes okay. and all of that. Bernadette! Oh, all right, right here. Yeah. Someone who performed a miracle. Like her. Moses, he parted to see. That's yeah. a miracle. Indeed. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Moses? Yeah. You got right. it. Okay. Okay. One more. Yeah, that's one more. But I, I was going with Moses. <laughs> I don't know, lost on Moses. There, right. Somebody who just, who performed. Not just, yeah, someone uh, who performed. Performed a miracle. Uh, uh, who was the fellow that turned, to turn, turned into the, the rock, to, it turned to salt? Uh, Job? Job? Job. Take a look. Job. Right. Was it Job? He had Job? some of his daughters here the other day. Lot. Lot. I'm sorry, it's Lot, isn't it? Turned to, you gave me Job. I, I, I got Job Lot. Lot. Okay. <laughs> That's How a about a whole lot of Job? Lot. Uh, oh, Come on, Tommy. Uh, yes. So you said, okay, a miracle would be uh, Mother Cabrini. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. That's the miracle. Personally. That's right. <laughs> Mother <her>. Cabrini. <laughs> no. <laughs> would you like to give me that number two answer, Betty? Yeah, Someone who performed a miracle. <laughs> okay. God. I would think so. That's what I Yeah. Think. God. Yeah. 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 229, 112, 100 people surveyed, top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something you listen to before you buy it. Bob? Stereo. Stereo? Yeah. You got it? Play a pass. Talk it over. Name something you listen to before you buy it. Three seconds, Betty. Piano. Piano? No. Jim, three seconds. Television. TV? Well done. Uncle Beth. The record. Yeah, a record. Yeah. You got it. Three seconds, Jim. Motor of your car. Okay, the motor of a car for the right to play for $10,000. A car? Fifteen seconds, please. Name a specific food that you give up to lose weight. Uh, potatoes. Any room in the home. Living room. A mean-looking breed of dog. A German Shepherd. An occasion when people go out to eat. Saturday night. A state with palm trees. Hawaii. Turn around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> food, you give up to lose weight. Potatoes. Survey set. Twelve. Any room in the home, he said. Living room, survey said. Twelve, a mean-looking breed of dog. German Shepherd, survey. Eighteen, an occasion when people go out to eat. He said Saturday, survey said. Oh. State with palm trees, Hawaii, survey said. Okay, right. if it's over 50, it can be done. You go stand right next to you. Well, we're looking to Betty. Here's Tom Betty. 
I predict right now you'll do it. Please remind the answers Jim gave us. And when you stop laughing, give us 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name a specific food that you give up to lose weight. Sugar. Any room in the home. Uh, the kitchen. A mean-looking breed of dog. A uh, bulldog. An occasion when people go out to eat. Uh, anniversary. A state with palm trees. Uh, Hawaii. Try again. Uh, California. Oh, okay. Is it a food you give up to lose weight? You said sugar. Survey said. What? Candy. Chocolate, number one. Yeah. Any room in the home? You said kitchen. Survey said. Yeah. 20. Yeah. Bedroom. I would have bet in the room. I got you. Mean looking breed of dog. You said a bulldog. It was number one. Whoa. Survey said. Really? Good. Yeah. 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 In case you want people to go out to eat, you said anniversary. It was number one. All Survey right. said. We wanted a state with palm trees. You said California. Florida was number one. If California's worth 29 points, you have $10,000. Survey said. $5 every point. Total out. No. SN is currently casting for its next show, It Takes a Church, a fun-filled faith-based dating show on a mission of love. If you belong to a faith community with a lively congregation and a charismatic pastor, visit ittakesachurchshow.com now. Bye. The trivia is challenging. Oh, gosh. Uh... Pass. The Beast is intimidating. This is my classroom, and you're about to get schooled. The clock is ticking. What lemon lime soda was introduced by Coca-Cola in 1961? Right. Hundreds of thousands of dollars are on the line against one of the quickest minds in the world. Predator, Saturn, Psycho, Scorpio. Wow. Can anybody beat our Beast? The Chase, all new Tuesday, 8, 7 central, only on Game Show Network.